Hey y'all, this is your girl Reagan Adams. Thank you so much for joining me today. So real quick again, I had to start the video over. So anyway, um, who's in your boxing corner? So I have a homegirl that brokered a deal for me. Uh, and that sounds really big. She brokered a deal, but it's, it's somebody that she knows that wanted to connect with me about some things. And so we had a meeting last night uh, over uh, the, uh, the video. We had a video chat meeting and I'm going to be honest. I'm in a season where I told you I'm raising my prices. There's nothing really free anymore. Um, and with this particular deal, I asked for money that I've never asked for before, just to be honest. Uh, and there was a slight conversation where I was getting ready to bend and not the pricing, but some other things that I asked for outside of the pricing. And my homegirl in business, we've been homegirls in business for some years. She said, no, ma'am. Like, you've been doing this for too long. Matter of fact, the price that you're asking for is still too low. And I remember having conversations. I've always had a problem with pricing things. Only because from where I'm from, uh, paying $25, $35 is a lot to people. They don't, not a lot of money, but they just are not willing to pay those prices. It's just not. And coming here, I knew I had to raise my prices or even have prices, <laughs> to be honest. And so when I was starting to kind of budge on some of those things that I was requesting, my homegirl was like, yeah, no, nah, we not doing that. And matter of fact, you said that you were going to raise the prices in January. So this price that, that you're talking about now is still too low. Mind you, I just told you this is the most money I've ever asked for in any type of anything that I've done. Right? Yeah. I said that to say, who's in your corner? Who's in your corner? Because even outside of her, one of my other homegirls was like, hey, you need to drop the price off and don't say nothing else. Drop the price and the first one to speak loses. Drop it and don't say nothing else. The price is the price. And if they want you, they're going to get you, right? And so my other homegirl, like from last night, she said, you got to stop. She said, I knew you were going to do it because you're just so used to giving and giving. She said, but you said that you want to you know, have money, your gift, make room for you and all of this stuff, you're going to have to start charging your worth. And she said, really, this is too low, but we're going to work with it this go around, right? Broker the deal, got everything the way it needed, you know, whatever it needed to be done. But I said that to say, who, who's in your corner uh, in the boxing ring? That's the Holy Spirit gave it to me because I don't like boxing. Side note, I don't like boxing. But the Holy Spirit dropped that to me. Like, who gave me a picture of Muhammad Ali in his corner? Muhammad Ali was good. He was great. But he needed a team of people to help speak into his life, to help train him, to help be there. Like, he had a corner. He had a corner, a boxing corner. He was Muhammad Ali, yes, the greatest of all time, but he had a boxing corner. Every great boxer or every boxer period has a boxing corner. Advisors, trainers, people who are physically, mentally, spiritually there. Who's in your boxing corner to help you be the greatest of all time? Ain't that good, Holy Spirit? That was good to me. That was so good to me because when I went after he gave me the boxing corner, I went and looked at the definition. What is a boxing corner? They're there to help push and propel the person to go do and be better. And I'm always in everybody's boxing corner. I, I stay in people's boxing corner. You hear me? That's That gives me life to be in somebody's boxing corner. But who's in your boxing corner saying you're not going to take less than? You're worth more than what you're asking for. Huh? Who's in your boxing corner? To say you are worth more than you are asking for, Reagan. Keep going. How you are thinking is retarded. Fix it. And don't, not necessarily don't care how you feel. They care how you feel. But for we got to get the feelings out of, way, out of the way for a lot of the things that God has for us this season. 
Because I know what I ask God for. I know I want a lot of different things. But I can't do that charging $50, $60, $100. I can't do that. I can't. And I've been doing it too long to be asking for so little. So now my friend was like, hey, drop the number and keep it pushing. She's in my boxing corner. My boxing corner is so super dope. I had somebody else, one of my other homegirls, tag me in a, a situation. And I'm like, man, who's watching your back when you can't when you can't see out everything? Who's watching you? Who's in your boxing corner to say, hey, I see this for you. I see this opportunity for you. This person is trying to take advantage of you. This, who's in your boxing corner? To be honest with you. One of my homegirls tagged me and something was like, hey, I think this is a good opportunity. When I looked at it, I said, oh, it is. Oh, it is. Because I can't see everything. But I got a boxing corner who can that knows that I'm capable of providing whatever needs to be provided. Especially if I meet the need. Uh, girl, you better check this out. Sending me scriptures. Sending me videos. Sending me encouragement. God said Who's in your boxing corner? That's all I wanted to say. It ain't no drills. And I got, listen, I got to go. Think about who's in your boxing corner. Start looking at your boxing corner. I know I do. I do. I do. And it's important this season. Who you are attached to, and I keep saying this, who you are attached to in this season is extremely important. Extremely important for where you're going. Extremely and it's go time. It ain't. I'm going to be honest. Like, it ain't even really no time to rest, rest real good. Like, you got to rest, yes. But, like, it's go time. And I was telling one of my homegirls today, like, how my brain is functioning right now. It's so much like, I got to work on my stuff. Like, I got a lot of work to do. A lot, a lot of work to do. But it's like I get up with this on my mind. Like, I'm finna get to it. I'm about to get to it. And I'm only going to drop this stuff when it's done. It ain't no preview. Like, y'all, I got a nod. Y'all going to get it when it's done. Because what I don't need is for somebody. I don't even know why I'm saying this. What I don't need, what you don't need, is to pre-tell somebody what you're going to do and let the enemy try to ruin the plans. Or bring yourself unnecessary warfare. Because you're running your jibs. Ask me how I know. Because I was the queen of that. Now y'all don't see my stuff till it's done. Y'all don't. You just don't. So watch what you're saying in this season. Watch who's in your boxing corner. Uh, I'm super excited. Again, I have another group coming up. And I'll probably start um, announcing that again later on uh, today. But I have a new group coming up. Well, we're about to get married, y'all. We're about to get married. We're about to get our lives together, get married. These men are waiting, and we need to get it together. All right? I got to go. This is your girl, Reagan Adams with all things Reagan. And Reagan says, I think it, I see it, I do it, and you should too. Bye.